ice. In all its forms has been part of the Earth's landscape for billions of years. But here in the high Arctic the climate is warming and the polar world we know could soon become a memory. That possibility is what has a team of scientists venturing onto the frozen seas in the dead of winter. They've come here to study how growing amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, blamed for global warming, is affecting the far north. Specifically, the waters below. It's just a matter of trying to understand the system and how much CO2 will be moving through the, the ice and in which direction at what time of year. For why that matters, scientists travel to another test site. Here they collect water samples from the dark depths, beneath a meter of ice. Oceans, and especially colder waters, absorb half of the world's carbon dioxide. There again. That may be good news for cleaning up the air, but CO2 makes the oceans more acidic, potentially endangering vital marine life. And so, scientists also go fishing. To the naked eye, the catch may not look like much, but there is a wealth of microorganisms. Got some pteropods and some copepods, and I think there's a fish larvae in here. These are the small zooplankton that basically support the whole um, functioning and productivity of the marine ecosystem. So it's very important to understand what processes affect these because then that will have knock on effects throughout the rest of the food chain. The Arctic may look like a barren wilderness, but underneath the ice, it is teeming with life. Besides being food for bigger creatures, microorganisms also generate half of the world's oxygen. They're also instrumental in the formation of clouds. And their health is what concerns marine biologist Kerry Lewis. Early studies suggest increasing acid levels are already eating away at the creature's shells. One of those believed to be the most vulnerable, the sea butterfly, an important food source for fish. Marine animals have an amazing ability to adapt to change, but it's really hard to understand how quickly they're going to be able to adapt. This pH is changing much faster than at any other time in history. What scientists don't know at this point is whether the waters will become so corrosive they will wipe out entire species of marine life, from the smallest to the largest of creatures, and the ones humans rely on. And so the urgency of their research. Their findings, they hope, will provide the early clues as to what will survive in this changing world. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, in the Canadian Arctic.